and this sequence of videos will be solving some probability problems. So let's go with our first one. Here what we really have is Ashley has applied for a job at two different companies. Let's call them A and B, Exxon and Biman. Getting a job from Exxon is 35% and from Biman is 28%. She also may get offer from both companies and that is 17%. So now she has an offer from Biman. Now she's wondering, will Exxon also send her an offer? What are the chances of that happening there? So let's draw a picture. 35 Exxon and 28 Biman. What this picture indicates is that this one and this one nothing in common. That basically implies that probability of getting from Exxon and Biman, both of them, is zero. Think of two departments in the same company. If department A hires you, B will not hire you. B hires you, A will not hire you. In that case, you only get one offer, either this or that. But in our situation, it's different. This is called mutually exclusive or disjoint events. Either this or that, like queen or king. So that's what this look, that's what this is. But our picture is different. In our case, we have an overlap, like a king and hearts. A king is heart and heart is a king, right? So we have an overlap and the overlap is equal to 17% A and B. Now let's work on the problem. She has an offer from Biman. Well, if she has an offer from Biman, where is she? Well, she belongs to the greenish area, like this circle. Okay. If she belongs here, she has offer only from Biman. If she belongs here, she has offer from Biman and Exxon, right? So if she belongs to this circle, 28, what are the chances she belongs to this area? Well, 17 out of 28, and that's her answer right there. Exxon given Biman is 17 out of 28. Probability of Exxon given Biman is 17 out of 28. And if you love formulas, here it is. Conditional probability. A given B equal to A and B divided by B. This is A and B and this is our B. That's it. Suppose she gets an offer from Exxon and she's wondering what are the chance if she gets an offer from Biman also. Well, Exxon means she is right here. And if she has to get an offer from Biman, she has to be in this group, right? So 17 of 35. So that will be Biman given Exxon. And this is Exxon given Biman. Let's go to the next, next stage. Now here she's wondering what are the chances she'll get at least one offer. Either from this or from this. At least one offer. Well, 35% chance she gets an offer from here, 28 from here. But there's a common area here. So 35 plus 28 minus 17. And that's right there. At least one offer basically means Exxon or Biman. 35 plus 28 minus 17 is 46%. So that will be this one. Now, formula right there. A union B equal to A plus B minus A intersection B. Or A or B equal to A plus B minus A and B. So this is and and this is or union. That's the formula. Now, the next question is, what are the chances she gets no offer? But that's very simple. No offer means 100 minus 46. And there's no offer. 54%. So basically the blank area that you see here is 54%. And this area is 46% covered all of it put together and we are finished. That's it. That's it.